Welcome and Habari. This is the post gist function of the week, episode one. I'm Reese, and this week's function is SD Makepoint. What is SD Makepoint? SD Makepoint is a function that is used to make a post gist point geometry. Through the wonderfulness that is function overloading, there are actually three variants. The first variant has arguments of uh, X and Y. Oopsie. The second variant has arguments of X, Y, and Z. That's not Z. There we go. <laughs> the third uh, variant has arguments of X, Y, Z, and M for measure. And if it is that you want to create a point with X, Y, and M, then there's another function called SD make point M, which accepts arguments of X, Y, and M. Yeah, pretty straightforward. Let's uh, jump into PSQL and look at an example. So, nothing very complex here. Select SD make point 100, 200. Boom. You've made a point. Clearly, this is a very trivial and uh, boring example. So, let us try and find some real data. On the left of my screen, I have the Government of Jamaica's Open Data Portal. Um, we're looking at chicken gunya cases in 2014. The data has coordinates, which is always good for spatial stuff. We have both X and Y and lat and longitude. The X and Y coordinates are in Jamaica's local coordinate system, JAD 2001. So let us create a table, import the data, Add a geometry column and then use SD make point to populate that geometry column. Now, if you know anything about me, it is that I like namespaces. So let's start out by creating a schema to hold our data. And then we can create our table. Create. Check V, thank you very much. And let's look at the columns. I think I'll try and speed this up so you don't spend time watching me type. Alrighty, we have our table. We can now import the data into the table directly from the web using PostgreSQL's copy from program. Let me grab the download link. Copy a link. There we go. Oopsie, with, and then and that should give me, here we go, one command to copy stuff into your table. So let us inspect our table. Ready. 
so we have our table with our data. It looks generally sensible. So the next step is to add our geometry column. I'm going to use the type def to make sure it's a point and the spatial reference ID is 3448, which is that for JAD 2001. Of course, because we didn't give it the table name to alter. All right, there we go. So if we now do look at the table a second time, we will see that we have our empty geometry column and we can now populate it. This is the last step. Ta da! And Look at that, our column has stuff in there. Hooray! So hopefully this little demo helped with understanding how SD MakePoint works. Happy post just day by the way. Hope to see you next Thursday when we will be looking at SDD within.